the mission hasn't gone wrong. Don't worry, Curly will be here. <gasps> Made it. Did you get it? From my dad's DVD collection. Invasion of the Cosmic Space Slugs. Fantastic! We've got to watch it now! <laughs> Gangway, Walter! Typical! I was examining that. What? The cracks in the pavement? No, the flora that was growing there. What's the rush this time, Dennis? Alien invaders! <laughs> Science fiction? <laughs> I am an alien! Oh, baby! <laughs> Honestly, why waste your life watching nonsense about things that don't exist? So what are you doing that's better? Something useful. Unlike you, I'm cataloguing every known variety of Beano Town wildflower. So there! Protect you, Brenda. No giant gastropod is gonna get my girl. We play this test for the cosmic space line. Uh, hey, wouldn't it be cool to make a real space alien movie? Yeah, great idea, Curly. We could borrow me dad's new camcorder. But won't we need costumes and props and stuff? We sure will. To save the Earth! So, you're the star of this movie? The star and director. What's it going to be called, then? Uh, Dende versus the Spider Dog and uh, Pie Tin Monster from the Moon of a Menacing Five! Ready, set, go! Oh, uh, hang on, Den. It's not in focus. No alien menace will get past Dende! Ah, did you get that? Uh, can we do a take two, Den? Meow! Hang on. What was that? An alien robot meow. Aliens don't meow, they growl. How do you know? Have you ever heard an alien growl? Oh, try again. Go for it! Yeah. <laughs> Result! That's it for Dende Space Station. Now we need to find an alien landing place. Oh. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Persinthoides non scriptus. Hmm, a common bluebell. <laughs> <gasps> How careless! Strange footprints. Somebody needs to be told to watch their step. Uh, it still looks like a playhouse to me. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've still got to add me special effect. Hey, Nasha! <laughs> In you go, Pie Face. This is where the aliens appear for the first time. Uh, what do I say, Den? This planet is ours for the taking. Got it. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. And go, Pie Face! Go, Nasha! Oh, my goodness! It, it, it can't be, can it? A spaceship? Oh, no! A, a spaceman! And a hairy spider monster! 
out of me. I was just taking me pie out of the oven and this flying saucer swooped down and stole me wheelie bin. Oh, I nearly dropped me pie, I did. Well, have you seen them too? Oh, I don't know where they're from. I'll be there as, as soon as I can. Oh. Did they? Did they really? Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. Those fairies at the bottom of the garden told me this would happen. They did. Oh, no. We're all going to be turned into green vegetables. Oh. It's not the end of the world. Well, uh, the space aliens have arrived, people, so uh, here's a track to mark the uh, end of the world, all right? Aliens! Oh, cool! Danger won't let you invade his planet! OK, OK, we surrender, Den! And cut! So, that's it, then? I guess. Although, a big disaster scene with loads of extras would make it mega special. Uh, uh, help! Aliens! Uh, uh, run for your lives! Uh, uh, women and children first! Uh, 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 oh, no! Uh, oh, no! Run for your lives! This is preposterous. What's going on? It's the end of the world! Aliens are invaded! Uh, there's one of them! Ah! Oops. Are we in trouble? Brilliant! What? This is great! Put your helmets back on and chase people! It'll look fantastic! <sighs> OK, if you say so. <sighs> Right, uh, yeah, yeah. you lot stay here, uh, and uh, I I'm going in. Let me come with you, Sergeant. No, Constable. This, uh, uh, this is something I have to do alone. Oh, be careful, Sergeant. What is it, then? What have you found? Glow sticks in a playhouse. Oh, do you realise your little hoax has caused widespread panic? But I thought I was sure I... Really, Walter, I expect better from you. Very poor show. But... 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 I, I want a handwritten apology to every resident of Beano Town. On my desk, first thing. Yes, Mrs Creature. Oh, oh dear, oh no. 
<laughs> this time you've gone too far, Dennis. It was only a water bomb, Dad. I was just having a bit of fun, and Sergeant Slipper got in the way. Fun? It's time you learned that you can have fun without being a menace. Impossible! You really have to start learning how to act more grown up, Dennis. Who, me? <laughs> yes, and lesson one starts with you helping out at my old class reunion party at Beano Town School today. School? At the weekend? Not another word, Dennis. It'll do you good to see how well grown ups behave. But school? Grown ups? Oh, can things get any worse? I had to ask, do you have to dress up like that? It's on the invitation. Everyone has to wear traditional school uniform. My two boys off to school together. I'm so proud. That'll be the rest of the gang. The gang? Why didn't you say Pie Face and Curly were coming too? Hello, Dennis. Is your dad in? Come in, boys! Have fun! Oh. Come on, Nasha. I can't face this without you. Are you enjoying meeting all of Daddy's school friends, Walter? Oh, yes, Father. Everyone has been simply lovely. <laughs> Until now. We're here, boys! Ah, uh -huh, good. Dennis, what are you doing here? Dad made me come. What's your excuse? I thought I'd help Father make this a memorable reunion. That's the attitude. You could learn a thing or two from this lad, Dennis. Yeah, like how to be really boring. Hey, I thought the invite said school uniform only. That's odd. None of these other invites mention anything about... No, there must have been a mix-up at the printers. <laughs> mix-up at the printers. <laughs> That's a great... Hey. I smell a rat, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Dad's been set up. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known old soppy socks would try to make us look bad. Well, what are you going to do about it? Do? You can't let that sneaky swat get away with it. You have to get even. Nonsense. We're adults, not children. <laughs> That's taking the retro look too far. <laughs> I know. I guess some people just never grew up. Sad, really. You're not going to let him get away with that, are you, Dad? You, I, you, no, I am not. If he can play silly schoolboy tricks, so can we. Just this once, mind. Brilliant. Oh, oh for, for fun. fun. And fun for all. <laughs> <laughs> just like old times. I get the feeling this lot are going to need our help, Masha. Five, six. This is the spot, boys. I hope it's still in there. <laughs> Bingo! Our secret school war chest. <laughs> Stink bombs. Itching powder. Launcher rackets. And these! One of my better inventions. With the emphasis on the boom. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just a little something I knocked up in detention. I mean, chemistry. <laughs> OK, fellas. We've got launcher rackets. All we need now is something to launch. That's where I can help out. Great. They'll do nicely. I'll pretend I didn't see that. OK, gang, let's go to work. Looks like Dad's changed his mind about water bombs, Nasha. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> OK, let's have a picture of your wonderful teacher, Mrs Creature, and myself to remind us of our reunion ball. Ready? Steady? Fire! <laughs> Father! Dude. Maybe we should try that again, son. I seem to have something in my eye. Oh, bullseye! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so. 
I think that's us all square now, gentlemen. You're all squares if you stop now. There's no need to cause more trouble, Dennis. It's job done and time to enjoy the party. Right, fellas? Um, yeah, let's get down there before that lot scoff all the grub, eh? But... When you were at school together, was Dennis's father really voted most popular student every year? Yes, but I've made sure he'll not win this time. This time, it's my turn. That's not fair. We've got to do something, Nasha. All right. The time has arrived for everyone to vote for the reunion's most popular student. Congratulations, Father! Not yet, Walter. Make sure you judge your choice on their manners. Ready? Their intelligence. <laughs> Aim. And, of course, their style. Fire! <laughs> Wait a minute. I recognise those. Dennis, put my boomerangs back. Uh -oh. Your boomerangs? I should have known you'd be behind all this. Like father, like son. Come here at once. Me? No way! Dad didn't do it. I'm sorry, Mrs Creature. It's all my fault. If I'd behaved more like a grown-up than a menace, none of this would have happened. Far too late for apologies, I'm afraid. You've behaved so badly, I'm going to have to call your mother. Oh, no, not my mother. Come on, Nasha. It's time to prove who the real menace is around here. Serious? He's been causing havoc at his old school, throwing water bombs, cakes... My boy? Oh, it's a mess. Are you sure you don't mean Dennis? <laughs> OK, I'm on my way. This I've got to see. Your mother is coming to take you home, young man. Leaving the rest of us to enjoy the party without any more... Bravo! Gotcha! Dennis! Stop that boy! Ha 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 We have him now. That's the only way in or out. There's no escape this time. You were saying? Naughty boy. <gasps> Mrs. Creature, what have you done? Dennis? Oh, I get it now. My grandson's arranged this ruse to get me here for a pie fight! <laughs> what fun! I'd like to ask you all for a show of hands to vote on this year's most popular student before things fall into total chaos. I vote for you, Father. I vote for my gran. The fun didn't start till she arrived. The yes, gran. Right. Gran. 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 You heard, Big Ears. My gran's won. I'll weld this to my helmet when I get home. Speaking of which, you're all invited to continue the party at my place where no rules are the rule. <laughs> Nasha, our work here is done. It's a shame you lost out on the trophy. Yeah, at least Soppy Socks lost out too, though, eh? And we've kept it in the family. With a little help from you. And you. Oh, and Gran. Talking of which, let's, let's go, go party! All oh, for fun and fun for Is that what I think 
it is. It is. <gasps> oh, wait, hey. The coolest computer game console ever. It's not even out till next week. Father knows the boss at the Way Hey Factory. <laughs> it's here in Beano Town, you know. Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. It's ace. How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to after school club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today and tidying. And cooking. Yikes! They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's Rock Guitar Legend. You sure? I always win at Rock Guitar Legend. Absolutely. Here goes. <laughs> the game code and rock guitar legend becomes air violin legend <laughs> It's really interesting. If I win, Pieface and Curly go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> but I should be allowed to do some homework too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at After School Club. Unless you're chicken, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is it a deal. But if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know you're chicken. I was just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? If I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot, but I can't let Curly and Pie face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. <laughs> Welcome to After School Club. First, form filling. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high-tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super-advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? This model is for display only. This is no good. We've got to get our hands on away. Hey. Hmm. A 
good citizen's home is a dust-free home. <laughs> this is where they make the way. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. System alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. We, we thought we'd call the game Grand Denismo. Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Mo! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter! I will thrash him! Uh, uh, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs>
Here's your Beano Town weather forecast. Cloudy all week with a chance of clouds this weekend. Boring! It's the Beano Town Founders Day bonfire tomorrow, yes. so get ready for the gravy toss, Pelta Vicar, and our famous Beano Town homemade jam off. More, more boring! And in breaking news, a mysterious bat creature was spotted yesterday in Beano Town Park. Ooh, still boring! What? Bat creature? Awesome! Nasha, let's go! We gotta catch it! Dennis, you are not catching a bat. They're dangerous. But, Dad, it's not a bat. It's a bat creature. Sit and eat your breakfast. That's an order. What do you think, Nasha? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. We need to investigate. Now, if I was a bat creature, where would I hide? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> what is he, boy? <laughs> Bloody footprints? Bat creature? Nasha, you know what this means! There's a vampire in Beano Town! Pieface, you're the vampire expert. How do we catch it? Uh, according to issue number four of Lord Tim, Vampire Destroyer, vampires only come out when the sun goes down, hate garlic, and can be destroyed with a stake through the heart. <laughs> hey! What about running water? Isn't that supposed to do something? Well, in issue number 12, Lord Tim melts a bunch of vampires in a jacuzzi by splashing them. Well, a jacuzzi might be hard to lug around, but splashing people with water... We can manage that! Water soakers full! Full! Oh. Now, the vampire could be anyone, so remember... Soak first, ask questions later. Let's get them! about that. Uh, we thought you were somebody else. Yeah, vampires! Vamp oh! You boys come here right now! Uh-oh! Run! <laughs> Guess the water didn't work. Those are tough vampires, eh? <laughs> I don't know about this vampire hunting thing. Where are you guys going? Mum wants me home early to help stir her gravy. For the gravy toss. She really wants to win this year. First prize is a hat made of potatoes. A potato hat? Come on, you can get one of those anywhere. <gasps> <gasps> is that...? Yeah, a coffin. This means the Colonel's the vampire! <gasps> Starch me civvies! Uh, um, uh, get him! <laughs> You've trespassed on private property. Explain yourselves. Well, uh, we, um, uh, I, uh, his parents want to. Invite you to dinner! Yeah, they... Want to what? Why would they want to do that? Uh, you know, uh, to say thank you for keeping us all safe with the Neighbourhood Watch and for um, all your... Uh, all your great stories and um, clean clothes. Well, I have been out late these last few nights. You know, watching the Neighbourhood. Haven't had a good hot meal in days. 
Yeah, except for people. Great! So you'll come. See ya. Dinner with me parents. Terrific. What are you going to do, Dan? Don't panic. I've got an idea. Oh, I'll get one. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. I invited the Colonel for dinner. Did he just say? Yes. Thanks for the dinner invitation. When Dennis practically begged me to come, I was quite touched. He begged you? Our Dennis? Hope you're ready for a long night, because I'm a slow digester. Hi, Face. You said something earlier about garlic. In issue 425, Lord Tim defeats a bunch of Italian vampires by using their own pasta against them. Fresh bread! Get it while it's hot! <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like garlic? <coughs> Water! <coughs> oh, no! Let me help you! <coughs> Get that away! <laughs> Aha! Don't like mirrors either! That settles it! Nasha, attack! <laughs> Dennis! What's got into you? Have you lost your mind? But Mum! Dad! He's at march right over to the Colonel's and apologise! Now! We'll just have to show him ourselves. <laughs> there he is. Hello? I could use some help out here. Look. Right, sorry. Just cleaning up. Looks like we've got two to tackle then. I've got dibs on Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see 
you. Quite all right, Dennis. Nothing can spoil my mood today. I've got some good news. Guess what? I've been promoted. I'm the new Deputy Assistant Supervisor of Sticky Tape. That's brilliant, dear. Yes, once I've done the Sticky Tape training course, it'll all be confirmed. I'm sure you'll do well. Oh, I hope so. There's one other thing, though. The new job's in a different part of the company, in Drano Town. What? Drano Town's a dump! Well, yeah, it's certainly too far to commute. We'll have to move. Move? We can't move! We're like it here, don't we, Nasha? <laughs> and in Drano Town, we'll be able to afford a better house. But there's nothing wrong with this house. It's as solid as a rock. Hmm, that'd be nice. Though we'd have to sell this one first. And, and another thing. What about Curly and Pieface? All oh, me friends are here in Beano Town. Oh, don't be silly, Dennis. You can always make new friends. Anyway, dear, well done. Drano Town, here we come. Huh. We'll see about that. Bye, dear. Enjoy your course. So I see. Well, it'll certainly make the job of the neighbourhood watch a lot easier. <laughs> I'll say. According to my calculations, we spend 89.6% of our time chasing Dennis. Indeed. But let's not count our chickens. Dennis is a Beano Town boy through and through. I don't think he's going to go quietly. <laughs> I'm just off to the shops, Dennis. OK, Mum. And remember, the estate agent will be bringing people to look at the house later, so just stay out of the way, OK? <coughs> Curly, alert Pie Face and get on over here. It's time for Operation Stay Put. Yeah, here we are. It's a nice, quiet neighbourhood, as you can see. Oh, I hope so. When I meditate, I must have the right vibrations. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. This garden is speaking to me. It will be my peaceful sanctuary. Yes. OK, boys! One, two, three, four! <laughs> But you did say you wanted, uh, uh, vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, boys. She won't be moving in any time soon. Uh, garden's not bad. A bit tame for my liking. OK, hold your noses, everyone. Here goes. One of me own patented extreme stinker stink bomb. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I like to get out in the fresh air and get back to nature. Oh, what's that? Ugh. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's completely natural. <laughs> so, Dennis is trying to put people off buying his house, is he? Time to mobilise the Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee. Now, as quickly as you can, deploy the sticky tape to create the perfect parcel. <coughs> you know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Kennel Warden! Oh, she's scary. Yeah, but she's got one weakness. Her pet chihuahuas. Yeah, this is it, Mrs. Uh, Barkington Wagstaff. I think you'll find it's uh, deceptively spacious. Well, it looks nice from the outside, but is there enough room for my little babies? <laughs> <laughs> All 
it, Nasha. No! <laughs> <laughs> You little fellows! Oh no! Not so fast yet, Chep. It's Walter and the Colonel. They're going to ruin everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't mention it, madam. It's what the neighborhood watch is for, isn't it, Colonel? Of course. We always like to look out for our little doggy friends. Even monsters like that one? Oh, don't worry about him, madam. He'll be gone when they move. Hmm, I see. Well, with dog-loving neighbours like you, this might be just the house for us. <laughs> Shall we have a look inside? Don't worry, Jen. We'll come and visit you in Drano Town. That's not even funny, Pie Face. No, it's not. And anyway, I'm not beaten yet. I'll think of something. I'm just calling your father. Oh, hello, dear. How's the course going? Oh, uh, quite well, I think. Marvellous. So what time will you be back? About four o'clock. I am looking forward to coming home. Me too, dear. See you later. <laughs> oh. Dad will be back at four. He's looking forward to coming home. We've got to do something to convince Dad to stay here, Nasha. But what? <laughs> Hang on. Mum says he's looking forward to coming home. Maybe if he got a really big welcome back, he wouldn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, we could sing a song and, and put a banner up and... No, wait. I've got an even better idea. The kennel warden likes the house, Nasha. She's coming to look at it again at four o'clock. But I'm going to make sure she doesn't buy it. I've got a foolproof plan. <laughs> Just as I thought, Walter's fallen for it. Red alert, Colonel! The kennel warden's looking at Dennis's house again! At four o'clock! Excellent news, Walter! Yes, but the trouble is, Dennis is planning to put her off! Don't worry, Walter. He's not the only one with a plan. We'll make sure she stays and Dennis goes. Four o'clock! That'll be her! Right then. Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee, quick march! Just as I thought, Nasha, Walter and the Colonel are pulling out all the stops. Welcome, Committee, roll out, red carpet! Freeze What a lovely cake! A red carpet, too! Oh. <laughs> Hi, Dad! Welcome home! Hello, son. How have you been? You know what, Dennis? I was already having second thoughts about that job. And now, to come home to a welcome like this... Well, how could we possibly live anywhere else? Result! Well, sticky tape's not all it's cracked up to be. And let's face it, I'm a rubber band man at heart. You don't mind not moving, do you? Of course not. If you're happy to stay here, so am I. No place like home, eh, Dad? Exactly, son. There's no place like home. Jen? Can 
we set up in the treehouse? Not yet, Pyface. Mum and Dad are still here. And remember how they moaned last time we played? We could try playing a bit softer. It wouldn't be much of a video for the din makers then, would it? Anyway, Athena wants it loud. Now she thinks she's a music video director. But she did say she'd show it to her dad, Dan. Yeah. If she thinks it's cool, she's going to play it to Rat Bucket. And if he thinks it's cool, whoa! So, we better be nice to her. Now, I've just got to get rid of Mum and Dad. What? You said you were going off to a meeting. You said you were going to be gone all day. We are. It's a special meeting of the Neighbourhood Watch next door. For young people. The Mayor's coming. The Colonel says you must be there. He wants you to help him with his talk. It'll be a nice way to make up for the trouble you caused him. It wasn't my fault his window was broken. I insist you go. It's the only way he's going to forgive us. Now go and get changed, or I'll be confiscating that guitar of yours. What? <laughs> guitar? Not today! Nasha, you're going to have to warn Curly and Pieface <gasps> that we've been caught for this meeting, that it's next door, that we'll escape as soon as we can, that... <laughs> OK, I'll write a note. Just grab a trouser leg in your teeth and hold them till they've read it. <laughs> to be a fine young man years later, and we can only hope that that is the case here. <laughs> Did you give him the note? <laughs> Was Athena there? Some of you may have heard of the Mayor's new campaign. Young Street Heroes, it's called. Thank you, Sergeant. I'll do this if you don't mind. Yes, it's an award for youngsters who contribute most to their neighbourhood. Like our very own Walter, for example. Athena will be there by now. We have to go! And now, how youngsters can help protect our neighbourhood. Lights, please, Walter. Head for the toilet, OK? <laughs> how to recognise a bad type. First, notice the eyes. Oh, yeah. She texted to say she's going to be late. Oh, no! I'll have to get back then. Mum will go mad if she finds I'm not there. And Athena will go mad if she finds you're not here. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Thanks, Pie Face. Just let me know the moment she arrives. Right. I'll do one of me bird calls. Easy to slip back in the dark. That's right. Up you come. As I was saying, I've specially invited two well-known local hooligans to join us. Justin, one, two, three. And so, thanks to forward planning, the hooligans are disarmed. They're gonna start playing. If anyone hears them, we're done for. Talking earlier about noise pollution, Colonel. Uh, can we give you a demonstration? My <laughs> 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 face. I think I see Athena. I can't hear you. <laughs> yes, yes, that's enough. Thank you. That's very good. All right. Quiet. Quiet. It's wonderful to be able to call on genuine troublemakers from the locale. In order to the steps we are that means Athena must be there. We can't keep her waiting or she'll throw a wobbler. What are you doing, Dennis? Uh, you know, I needed the toilet before. Uh, well, I'll do again. <laughs> and so does Nasha. OK, Nasha, you wait here. If I'm needed, bark loudly. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, Athena. Uh, what's happening?
thing. You owe me one, Dennis. I'm missing my nail therapist because of these idiots. We're fixing it. It's just a small explosion type thing. Can't they speed it up a bit? <laughs> no. What? Not you. Uh, no. Yes, they can. And I'm going to help too. I think I saw a loose wire uh, under the stage. I'll be back in a minute. I'm warning you. Five minutes, then I'm taking my talent elsewhere. Give us a signal the moment you're ready. I'll do me owl. Oh, wait. What happens if a real owl flies past? It won't sound like yours. Yes, up here. Up here this way. Now, let's see what happens when a young hooligan tries to pick the lock on Walter's special lunchbox. I don't pick locks. I've never picked a lock in my life. Go on, try then. <laughs> Hilarious. Can I go now? <laughs> As you can see, that's one padlock that won't be picked. That's my face. we got to go. Dennis, are you all right? Uh, yeah, Mum, uh, but... Uh... Oh, you're very hot for someone who's just been sitting still. Perhaps you should go home. Home? Yes, uh, great idea. I'll come with you. Actually, uh, it might be better to stay here, in the quiet. You go back to your seat. Oh, if you're sure. But I don't want to see you stirring from here. be going mad. His Worship, the Mayor. No! Oh, how do we get past that lot? Abandoned paperclip division. It's amazing what you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. Uh, yes, and uh, the elasticity is uh, really quite surprising, Your Worship. <laughs> it's okay, Poochie. It's only Nasha. <laughs> I don't think so, Dennis. It's so last millennium. It's okay. I'm gonna change. Start the intro, guys. <laughs> and they lower the tone of the neighbourhood. Dennis, I am going to make an example of you. Yes, you, because you're not like the others. I heard the gentle music you were playing. I saw you rescue that poor pup from the tree. And I heard from your mother that you've not been feeling at all well, too. Come forward, young man. You and your faithful hound are young street heroes! Yeah! Young street heroes? <laughs> Not a bad name for a band. 